we are going to weave a little bit here. I'm not going to worry about what happens to my tail. And I'm really close to the beater, so I'm going to wind forward. Let off some pressure on the brake. And the question is always, how tight is this? This is about right. You can see how it flexes when I put my full hand on it. You want it to go down a little bit. Now, I told you not to beat. Now I want you to beat. And you'll see why in just a minute. This is unmercerized cotton, and it tends to be a little stickier than mercerized cotton. So if we have about an inch and a half woven here, it'll hold. In place of a pick, I am going to put a stick. This is our apron rod. And we're going to change our feet so we can lock that in. And this is all going to be waste, so it doesn't matter if it looks beautiful. This is solely for function. Okay, we are ready to cut our sample off the loom. You see this is under weaving tension. We're going to back off the tension so everything doesn't spring. We're going to cut off our shuttle just to get it out of the way. And we're going to trim right here. And it's free. We're going to let that hang and get our sample off. Now remember, when you attach this, that you need to go around the front beam. You can't come and attach it like that. That won't work. You've got to come here and bring it around the front. And we want to keep it nice and square. And we're going to attach it. with zip ties. I'm sure you can make it look more graceful than I am. So we want these tails to be about the same length so that we have even tension. And then we put one more tie in the middle. And it comes up right next to the apron rod, as close to the center as you can get it. 
and set your tail to be the same length as the others. Now when I put tension on this, we're ready to weave again, just like that. 